Hi, we're here today uh, and we're going to test some great new diving equipment from a company called Poseidon. They brought some stuff over called a Mark VI rebreather that they say is going to revolutionize diving. Jose's here, he's going to walk us through the system. Let's see what it can do. We're going to dive this thing, then we'll talk. Hey, so this is Jose. Hey, buddy. Good to see you, pal. Yeah, so what yeah. do we got going on here? Poseidon Mark VI. Okay, this is the rebreather. It's the only fully automatic rebreather that there is in existence right now. Okay, but now I got to interrupt you right there because honestly, when we start talking about rebreather technology and we've all talked about this, this stuff's technical. I can't do this, can I? No, no, you can do it. You can do it. It's not technical at all. It is a very, very simple system. This computer right here, it actually has many computers, have many backup systems, and it does all this pre-dives. But now that makes this system absolutely unique. This is a revolution. It is a revolution because the only rebreather out there that can actually do that is this rebreather. Okay, so now he's got our attention. Let's talk about this unit. Show, walk sure, us through this. Sure. Show us what we got. This portion of the unit right here is the chemical absorbent that takes the CO2 out of it. It's a chemical, very reliable reaction. And then here you've got pretty much the electronics. It's this most compact, most sophisticated control system for a rebreather in the world. So what it does is that this tank right here has oxygen and this tank right here has air. What that does is that it multiplies the time that you can be down there without decompressing. Okay, so this little tanks will go four hours at a recreational depth less than 130 feet, no problems at all. Now, count that out guys, that's four hours of bottom time and we're not going into deco. When you're shooting and filming wildlife, uh, they just absolutely don't like the open circuit, uh, bubbling noises, they just go away. So when it's silent, they get closer to you. So the experience in the water is uh, considerably better than the wall. Sounds exciting. Well, we can't wait to dive this thing. Uh, let's get suited up and we'll throw this puppy in the water and we'll, we'll see what's gonna happen. Yeah. So we've just tested this baby, just come out of the water, and I'll tell you, this is an amazing experience. It's different than scuba, because you don't have the noise. It's also different in the way that you breathe. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's something I could really get used to, though, I'll tell you that. Wow. Not bad on the first run. So listen, Jose, thank you, oh, my friend. You're welcome. This my was pleasure. a really nice experience. My pleasure, uh, my pleasure. This little unit, you know, they've got big expectations for this. They're making lots of big promises. But I gotta tell you, after using the unit, this thing performs better than I thought it would. And uh, you're talking about a revolution or an evolution in diving. I gotta say, you know, when you guys go back to uh, Sweden tomorrow, yeah. I'm sorry to tell you, but I think your bags are gonna be a little lighter because this unit, she's staying here. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. You know what? Have had it. Go nice talking go to you. It. See you yeah. later. Yeah.